your very next thought. War is cruelty, and you cannot refine it. But I had a thought. Let's first consider for a moment the horror of militarized airstrikes against civilian cities. Let's go to Google and type Gaza and casualties. This is going to elicit a number of disturbing images. Let's say you are a Gazan parent or aunt or an uncle of tiny little children. And I'm not joking because dead or injured children are never good. Regardless of whether they are Israeli or Palestinian children, dead children are horrifying and something no one should have to see. But let's say you are a Gazan adult surrounded by children of your relatives every day. Maybe they are your children. You cheer as the rockets fly into Israel. actually hear children in Gaza City cheering Alalu Akbar as rockets fly from the rooftops of Gaza City into random targets in Israel. Those rockets that the civilians, the ordinary Palestinians in Gaza City are cheering could hit other children their age, could hit old women, could hit families. I'm not knocking this attitude. If I didn't have a homeland, and I felt someone else was squatting on my land, as the Palestinians are taught, I might feel the same way. So that's a given. Yep, it's cause for celebration as the returning jihadists who have just slaughtered several kibbutzes in a music festival in Israel return with the vehicles that they have liberated from Israel. And you can see ordinary Gazans, people who are not in Hamas, but the Palestinian residents of Gaza City and the Gaza Strip, cheering and cheering and cheering. No thought to the consequences here of what Hamas did in Israel. Here's another one. Yes, as of October 7th and 8th, cheers and celebrations all across the Gaza Strip. Let's celebrate what Hamas did. There's no thoughts to repercussions. It's just a time to shout, God is great. Here's the Hamas and Palestinian civilians cheering, smashing through the border fence where they murdered people at a music festival. Where they mur Oh, look, there's a bulldozer provided by the United States of America and the United Nations for construction. If you cheer Hamas taking violent military steps, to retake your homeland, the state of Israel, by firing rockets from Gaza City, or launching paraglider attacks or fence-cutting operations from the very city you and your children live in, what should be your very next thought? The very next thought in your head. You're a Gaza adult, you're a male or female. What is the only thought that you should be thinking? that very second after these attacks took place. It should be, wow, I really waited till the last second to get my children out of here. I'm watching rockets fired from the rooftops of the buildings all my children and my relatives' children are in. My elderly parents, my aunts and uncles, my nieces and nephews. I waited far too long to evacuate those children as the Israelis are very probably going to bomb the heck out of this general area and every building within eyesight to get to Hamas. You would then be thinking as your very next act, get my children out now. Get my relatives' children out now. You should not be thinking, well, it's time as a responsible Gaza adult citizen to get a coffee and a cigarette Maybe I'll go get some lunch, some falafel, or some hummus from the local cafe. 
No. And I don't understand, looking at all these photos of adult Gazans carrying children, why didn't you work on getting them out instead of cheering those rockets leaving Gaza City? Who thinks like this? Or doesn't think is the question. I cannot think of any sane reason why they would continue keeping little babies and children all around these Gaza buildings that they fired rockets from weeks before. Why did Hamas obey the order of the Islamic State of Iran to start this war and basically commit suicide of their own families? It doesn't make any sense. Thank you.